What's happening, folks? Welcome back to the 182 News YouTube page. Appreciate you checking out this video. Today, I want to document a very important part of Blink history. Forever, folks have wondered what happened to Tom's Red Squire. This is what he recorded Cheshire Cat with. This is the earliest guitar we see with him and Blink. And for years, no one has known what has happened to it. And this is something that I was able to get the story on. I was hoping to bring it out on a podcast conversation. At this point, I don't think that's going to happen, but I did get the green light to at least share it for historical purposes. And if you know me, you know the podcast, you know the page, you know I'm all about documenting this band's history, making sure it's accurate for future generations of Blink fans to know and enjoy. And so here's the story on this. Uh, this was Tom's Red Fender Squire. We've seen some beautiful pictures of it throughout the years, most of these taken by Carrie Key, friend of the band, during that time period. And right around late 1994, we know Tom gets his white sticker strat, which I have done a million videos on. And that is Tom's primary axe from 1994 through 1997. And really, no one knew what happened to the guitar after that. It was never seen again. And for years, folks have wondered if Tom still had it, or maybe it's just hiding in a storage unit somewhere, and no one's known that answer. I've got the answer. So here it is uh, for the history books here. Tom gave that guitar to a close friend of his as soon as he got the white sticker strap. It wasn't stickered yet, but the white strap. So as soon as he gets that strap, he no longer needs the squire. He gives it to a friend. That friend played it played shows with it, spray painted it a different color, and in an act of true punk rock fashion, smashed it on stage during a performance. So it is long gone, unfortunately. I know that's not the news that folks wanted to hear, uh, but it's a rad story. <laughs> I'll give it that. Um, but I just wanted to get that out there so that it's known. The guitar does not exist. It hasn't for a long, long time. This is so far before Blink was even huge, before anybody was collecting anything or thinking that any of this stuff would be valuable or collectible or should be in a punk rock museum one day. Uh, this was so long ago, but that's the story on it. So uh, it is what it is. I think at least we've got the, the true story on it, the legends out there. And uh, not the, the ending that I know we had hoped for. You know, I wish that it was on display at the Blink VIP Museum for nerds like myself to, to look at and cherish. But it does have a cool story, and that's the truth. And that's what happened to it. So, as always, uh, if you enjoy this stuff, enjoy Blink history, listen to the podcast, follow the page, and drop your comments below. We'll talk soon. Peace.